A super typhoon is approaching Hong Kong, which is capable of bringing about massive destruction. Welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nankulir, and in this video, we will talk about the super typhoon Ragasa and also discuss how is this form. So this typhoon is approaching Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is on high alert because this is a Category Four storm, which means that it is capable of bringing about catastrophic disruption because the wind speed here it is very high. It is somewhere around. 230 kilometers per hour so huge disruption to human life is anticipated so the schools are closed flights may also be cancelled and it is going to cause severe damage especially once it crosses philippines and the south china sea because it is going to pick up moisture on its way from the south china sea and further intensify itself as a typhoon so it's a category 4 typhoon huge disruption can happen that is why evacuations are underway so that we can mitigate the harmful effects of this typhoon Now let's understand the typhoon Ragasa. What is this typhoon Ragasa? So, what are typhoons? First of all, typhoons are tropical storms. They originate from five to thirty degree north and south of the equator, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. They exist as tropical storms, and they are known by different names in different regions. Typhoon is the name given to tropical storms that originate in the northwestern pacific region now this typhoon is going to particularly be intensified once it crosses philippines and the south china sea and then reaches hong kong because it is going to pick up moisture from south china sea and intensify itself and i told you this is a category 4 storm so what do we mean by these categories there is a scale to measure the intensity of the typhoons which is the Saffir Simpson scale. This scale has five categories to denote the intensity. Four is the second most destructive category, and this typhoon Ragasa. It's fourth on the number. Five is total failure, but four is also capable of bringing about catastrophic destruction. That is why this Ragasa becomes extremely important, and Hong Kong is now right now looking at mitigation efforts to reduce the effects, the harmful effects that are going to come with this typhoon. Now let's talk about typhoons in general and how do they originate. So typhoons, as I told you, these are tropical storms that originate in the tropical regions, five to thirty degree north and south. They are known by different names in different regions, like cyclones in the Indian Ocean and South Pacific region. Then hurricanes in the Atlantic and North Eastern Pacific region, and typhoons. in the northwestern pacific region so these are the names given to the same tropical storm depending upon the region where they originate and these are tropical in nature so from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn they are going to exist the categories are defined by the saffir simpson scale the intensity is measured by the saffir simpson scale and if we talk about the origination of these typhoons they require some conditions some prerequisites like the first one is the presence of a warm sea surface so the temperature should somewhere be around 27 degrees celsius because this warm water is actually going to act as a fuel for this cyclone system for this typhoon system because what is going to happen let's say this is the sea and if the temperature here increases water is going to evaporate it will reach up condensation is going to happen cloud formation is going to happen and in the process of condensation heat will also be generated in the form of latent heat and this latent heat will further fuel this system again more evaporation will happen then more condensation will happen again latent heat will be generated so this is creating a cycle a cycle a like a loop of these things and this is actually the fuel of the typhoon so this moisture that is coming in this is intensifying our typhoon or cyclone so the first condition is that we should have a warm sea surface we should have a warm sea temperature second low pressure condition should be there so all these cyclones these typhoons these are low pressure systems because what is happening here evaporation is happening here when evaporation happens 
low pressure is forming in this area. So low pressure systems need to exist because only when evaporation happens, low pressure is going to be generated. So the sea surface temperature should also be high and low pressure should exist as well as the Coriolis force should also exist. Because let's say a low pressure is created here. Now what is going to happen next? When low pressure is created, wind from the high pressure area is going to come in to take its place because wind is going to flow from high pressure to low pressure. Now, because the earth rotates, this is not going to be straight in nature, like the winds will not be straight. Because the earth rotates, these winds are also going to spiral. And this spiraling of wind is actually going to form a typhoon or cyclone or hurricane. That is why Coriolis force also needs to be present because without the Coriolis force, like in the absence of Coriolis force, spiraling of winds is not going to happen and then this structure will not be formed. That is why when I told you that these tropical cyclones, they exist from 5 to 30 degree north and south, they do not exist in the equator because in the equator region, Coriolis force is absent. It is zero. So no spiraling of winds is going to happen at the equator. That is why no cyclones, no typhoons, no hurricanes are going to originate on the equator. So what do we need for the typhoon to originate? We need a warm sea surface temperature, we need low pressure conditions and then we also need Coriolis force to be present. Other than this, there's one more thing that we need that is the low shear of wind. Which means that basically the winds should not vary a lot with altitude. Let's say this is the typhoon. If the winds in the topmost position and the winds in the bottommost position, if they start moving in opposite directions, will this exist? No. This typhoon is going to collapse. So our winds should not vary a lot with altitude. They should move in the same direction so that their effect is intensified and the system does not collapse. So these are some prerequisites that we need for the formation of a typhoon or a cyclone or a hurricane. When all these conditions are met, then an extreme intensified low pressure condition is created and that basically is our typhoon. So this area that you see in here, the center most area, this is actually the eye of the typhoon. This is the most low pressure area, like the extreme low pressure conditions exist here and it's the most stable one. No rainfall is going to happen here. Then this part is the eye wall and then the rainfall is going to happen in the rain bands. Because as I already told you that these moisture that it is going to collect from all these uh, warm surface temperature sea surfaces, this is actually going to act as a fuel for the cyclone or fuel for the typhoon. So a lot of rainfall is going to happen. So what is associated with a typhoon? Strong winds and heavy rainfall. So for rainfall to happen, it must constantly get its source of water. So that is why when these cyclones or these typhoons, when they reach the land, their source of water is cut off. That phenomena is known as landfall. And then a lot of flood comes in that area because now their source is cut off. Now no more intensification of the cyclone or the typhoon is happening. And all the moisture that it was carrying is now deposited on the coastal area. So floods come in. These are the phenomena that are associated with the typhoons or cyclones. Now let us look at the naming of cyclones. From where did this name Ragasa come in? So names of these cyclones, these are basically, uh, these are basically given by these regional meteorological organizations and the regional meteorological organization for this northwest Pacific region is in Japan. So all the countries there, they already have given a pre-approved list of names of uh, these typhoons to this regional meteorological organization which exists in Japan. And Ragasa was given by Philippines. And Ragasa, it means rapid or fast moving. 
So this is very true to its name. It's a category four storm. It's a rapid storm. It's a fast moving storm. So Ravagasa was the name that was given by Philippines, and these names are already given. They are already existing with the regional meteorological organization, and this one is in Japan for the northwestern Pacific. So that was all for this video. Now evacuations are underway. We can only hope that not a lot of destruction happens, and Hong Kong is best prepared for mitigating the harmful effects of this typhoon. Now let us practice a question for prelims. Consider the following statements. One, typhoons are tropical cyclones that form over the northwest Pacific Ocean. Two, typhoons are characterized by a low pressure center, strong winds, and heavy rainfall. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A, one only. B, two only. C, both one and two. D, neither one nor two. Please provide your answers in the comment section, and we will meet in a new video. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.